Hi, this is Janice Winward here with Midnight Arts. I'm here with my granddaughter. She is so very multi-talented. She does calligraphy like you just wouldn't believe. She is a, um, a record-holding gymnast and she dances and she sings and she is, she is just totally amazing. And she is going to do a ring pour today. Um, and the colors that she is using is Apple Barrel Cloudless, Apple Barrel Lilac Mist, Apple Barrel Bikini Blue, and Apple Barrel Tuscan Teal. She is the granddaughter that I made, I don't know, many videos ago I made a whole bunch of um, feather pools trying to get a good one for her. And uh, this is the granddaughter I did that for. Okay, so if you want to just start putting your, actually you can do it on top of this. Just put your colors in. Just put whatever till it covers the bottom and just part What it down order the side. do they have to be in? You want to put a light, a dark, a light, a dark. Okay, so these are lighter and dark. Yeah, so you probably want to move these two around. So you have a light, a dark, a light, a dark. Okay, and I just, how much do I put in? Oh, I don't know. Give it a good squeeze. Yeah, you're gonna put you're gonna put lots in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You're gonna do more than one round of it. Okay. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Okay, you want it to kind of run down the side oh, so yeah, it kind of goes on top. Oh, you're right. And not goes down in. It's okay because. Um, It'll People squirt it purposely so that it goes down in on some of them. That like that's, good? that's probably good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you Five want minutes. to just sit this aside, and you want to choose one of the colors and just kind of cover your corners. That's it's just fine. choose any color. Yeah, whichever color you want, or you can choose a different color if you want. Do I put those on. Yeah, first? put this on. And uh, and just cover your corners. And how do, do I cover it? Like just. Um, yeah. Would you, Darla? Would you hand me the palette knife? Yeah. Just put some color on there, and you can use the palette knife to spread it. Like how much? Doesn't matter. It's just just <laughs> like. Okay. Just spread it like how? Just like. Just so it covers it. Yeah. Because you're going to be tilt. You're going to be tilt, and then hopefully your paint. You have enough paint that's going to cover those corners anyway. We only did this just as insurance in case there's that, not. There's okay. not. Yeah. This reminds me of all the like Huckleberry Taffy and stuff we saw <laughs> at Bear Lake. I was worried about that after too. Jackson. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Daddy, no talking. We can do phone. this. <laughs> All right. Now you're going to take your cup, and you're going to. Oh yeah, center it. Oh, we need to probably take that out a little bit further. All right. Now you're going to take your cup and put it in the center of the thing, and you're going to. Uh, as you pour it, you're going to make just slight little circles. Okay. As you pour it out, just slowly okay. pour it out. Just, just do slight, slight little circles. Okay, so now when you pick up when you pick up your painting, you're going to just kind of rotate it in a circular motion these at videos. first. Okay, yes, you do watch them. <laughs> like how? It's good. It's good. You kind of want to stretch it out a little bit before you start going over the edges. But As you were saying that, I completely didn't listen at all. <laughs> yes, you did. You did good. Um, okay, now you can just keep going and just kind of, yeah, just start going over the edge. Oh, that is so pretty. See those cells in there? Mm-hmm. It feels weird on my hand. It does. 
It doesn't. I'm a person who I don't like to get things in, on my hands, and so it felt really weird when I was first doing it. It was like, I'm pouring paint in my hand. Yeah. It doesn't. Should I do more? Whatever. If you if you want to go more to these corners, you can. If you don't, if you're happy with the way it is, you can leave it. Okay. Okay, you good? Yeah, I like it. Okay, then you just want to kind of tap. You can put it put it down, and you just kind of the... go around and tap the cor the it's sides. A... Yeah, yeah, you can put it down in, inside that. You just want to go, kind of go around and tap the sides, where, only where there's no paint. Now you want to hold it up in front of the camera. Which camera? The top one. And just kind of tip it just a little bit so that there's let's hold it like okay okay thank you so much for joining us please come back and join me again soon please subscribe like and share and most importantly please have a great night Okay, here's this piece dry. I forgot to have hope. Um, torch it to see if we could get some more of that purple to come up through. But there is just little uh, traces of it. <laughs> this is really pretty. Um, unfortunately, I was not a good coach and I didn't ever put something on the canvas beforehand and so when we stretched it we lost our lines. But it's still quite pretty. Okay, and this is a dipped uh, tile that we did. Oh, there's another tile over here too. Um, these are the magnets. We dipped, and let me see if I can reach this other tile. Here's the other tile that we did. Those paints seemed like they uh, blended together really fast. <laughs> uh, so we didn't get the variegated like, like we usually do, but it's a beautiful color. So anyway, thank you for joining us, and please have a great night.